Well, at 538, we are back with yet another segment of Beach Bites. And we hear this place is just as cool as their gelato. Tony Chiaroli brings us the scoop. We want everybody to know we are a full service cafe. We have a lot more than just our world famous gelato. Despite the title Cafe Gelato, this quaint and modern spot along Kings Highway has a lot to offer, which definitely caught us by surprise. We do offer homemade soups. We do offer wonderful salads and sandwiches and smoothies. We have a full coffee bar. During our stop here at Cafe Gelato, love the twist that they have here. Taking a look, it's a drive through because it was a former bank, but no one is depositing money here, just depositing delicious food and gelato right here. We make all the gelato here, so it's always fresh. We make it daily. Uh, we offer 16 flavors. We have two sorbets that we offer. And as good as some of it looks, it's actually a bit better for your waistline than ice cream. A normal serving of ice cream has seven grams of fat, where in gelato would be about half that, about three grams. So uh, it's made with uh, a lot more milk and a lot less heavy cream than what you'd have in ice cream. Now, let's rewind back to how this all came to be. Uh, we opened the cafe about uh, two and a half years ago in June of 2019. I moved here actually from uh, Nashville, Tennessee, was in the wine and spirits business for 31 years, was on the way to retirement. I had a cousin that lived here and his wife. Met Dan, my partner here, who has, had moved here from Rome, New York. And we came up with the idea of uh, opening a cafe. We had this bank building here that was vacant and we refurbished it, fixed it up, and uh, voila, Cafe Gelato. But it wasn't all smooth sailing right out of the gate for Doug and Dan. Went through a period of time where we, I think all the restaurants here had to close their dining rooms. And in an attempt to keep all of our employees and keeping people busy, we decided to do some charitable work. That work, including 1,500 free kids' meals being given away during the pandemic. There was a food drive. $15,000 was donated to Impact Ministries last year, together with 22000 given to Children's Miracle Network to benefit McLeod's Children's Hospital in Florence over the past couple of years. Their gelato may be cool, but their hearts are warm at this place. For WBTW News 13 with Aaron Rohde, I'm Tony Chivaroli.